Okay, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use three Chrome extensions um, that are, is going to help you with a lot of competitive research. For all the clients I have, none of them have been using this, and I've worked, I have quite a few clients. Um, they're called GMB Crush, GMB Everywhere, and then Plepper, and I'll give you links to all this. And I'm going to go over the basics of all of them. I'm not going to waste too much time on some, some of the more basic stuff because I don't want to waste your time, but I'm primarily going to go over GMB Crush because there is a lot of overlap between these tools. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So let's first just download the extensions real quick. Oh, and this is what a, a Google search, if you search for like lawyers near me, this is what it's going to look like on Google Maps, right? So the idea here is to gather um, competitive research, see what your competitors are doing correctly and do those things and do them better because that's what Google is expecting. Or that's what Google thinks um, are our results that meet the criteria for local SEO for Google uh, map rankings. So let's just go ahead and do Chrome extensions. This is pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to get into the click by click stuff. So do GMB um, crush. It's pretty basic. So click here, add to Chrome, add extension. Done with that. Now my Chrome, after I install an extension, it put it hides it. I think it's because I have too many. So do this. Go down to green GMB crush, click the pin. Now you can see it right here. You may not need to do that, but I'm just pointing that out in case uh, you don't know if you have it installed or not. So GMB everywhere, add to Chrome. Same thing, go up here and oops, GMB, there we go. And then finally, Plepper. This, add to Chrome, extension, wait for it to finish, and it's there. Didn't stick, so we'll go down. It's in alphabetical order. Actually, it's not in alphabetical order. Huh, never noticed that. Okay, so what we're going to do, so this is what it looks like. You can see there's no categories. It's basically the business name and the one category business category that's pulling from Google My Business, right? This is Google My Business. This isn't Bing Places. This isn't Apple Maps. This is strictly Google My Business. So the first thing for GMB Crush, you need to go, and I think actually if you click on it up here, it takes you to the website, which it does. So you need to create an account. Create an account. I'm not going to waste time telling you how to do that. It should be pretty straightforward. Okay, so we're logged in. So basically, this, this is a really cool feature. If you want to do a search from where you're at, you basically click there. If you want to change the location, now, like, like I have clients all over the country, so I need to search from those locations. So if you want to do New York, do that, get coordinates, and you have a drop down here. So you can do Manhattan, you can do York, New York County, blah, blah, blah. What I like is you can do by zip code. So this gets even more, um, it narrows it down even more. So 77586, which is a Texas zip code, get coordinates. Drop down, Seabrook, Texas, boom. So you get that and search now because that's in Seabrook. Seabrook is a, it's not a big city, but it has multiple zip codes. At least I think it has multiple zip codes and different results are going to appear in Google My Business depending on where you are in that zip code. So think about like a big city like Boston. If you're in North Boston, you're going to get different GMB results than you are in South Boston or to the west side, to the east side. So let's do lawyer near me. Now this could be Italian food near me. This could be plumber near me, whatever. First thing you want to see is this is Plepper over here, which is a really cool tool. First of all, if you, if you are in the wrong location or you want to change it, you can do switch location and this go, this switches the location within GMB crush. So here you can see the categories that are used by the top results. So you may not have for a lawyer, you may just have attorney, but do you have divorce lawyer? Do you have criminal justice attorney? you have all the other ones. Now I wouldn't use all of these. I generally like to use like five or so. I would use the top ones here, right? Unless there's something that really sticks out down here. And you can get some other stuff, hours, reviews, which is really good. Average review rating, average max reviews, max maximum rating, minimum rating, right? Maximum reviews, minimum reviews, without reviews. And you can get the attributes down here as well. And here you can see here, 
Okay, the attributes right here. So that's basically the flipper. That's all I'm going to go over with that. What you'll see is what I'm going to, the other things I'm going to do are going to basically give you the same information just in a different format. So you can see here, now you're ha you can see attorney displayed. That's the, so that's the only category they're using. This one is using personal injury attorney, divorce lawyer. So you can see them, you can see them business by business, right? Now this one, this stuff is coming from GMB everywhere. So if you're comfortable just getting the generic ones, you don't need this. Now they have a few features, and I think you can do five per day for free. You can come here and get a lot of the specific information about that GMB entry. Review audit, this does an audit of all the reviews. And when it's processing, I don't want to move my mouse. So you can see up top it says GMB everywhere is, is processing. So this isn't using any API calls as far as I know. It looks like it's basically just scraping. So if you go to a different tab, it's going to get messed up. So you can get some good review information here. Total reviews, right? Mm -hmm. And all this other stuff, I should say. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Basically go through it. It's all pretty basic. So this is the same thing. This is going to analyze the posts. And you can see up top, GMB everywhere is processing. Okay, so there's no post. So let's just go back. To post audit. So it's up top. Okay, so post with time. So you can see, oh, it, well, it, I, I, I've, I got to the maximum amount of searches I can do, but briefly you saw it shows post information, right? How their posts over time are trending. Um, so that's that. Now, this, so that's GMB everywhere. So now this is where GMB Crush comes in. And as far as I know, it's all totally free. Before we do that, let me just show you their website. They have a lot of really good information and resources. So if you want to go look at the different uh, products they have, they have a lot of really good resources, local SEO. So I'll just jump into here. So just make sure you you go to the web page and see what they have to offer and definitely keep up with it because it looks like they're posting stuff um, a lot and they're just, it's, it's a new thing. So they're just now getting started. So let's start again because I, it was scraping and I went to a new page, which just like GMB everywhere, that's going to mess things up. So, lawyer near me. And by the way, you can see these. I'm in Louisiana. These results are in Texas, in Seabrook, Texas. You can see it, it doesn't say Seabrook, Texas, but if you Google any of these, you would see it's Seabrook, Texas. So let's click on this one. So you have to click on it to get to allow this button to appear. So search now, and we're just going to let it sit here, and I'm actually going to pause it. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I don't know if you saw at the bottom, but it said it's crushing. That that task took about a minute, so it does take a little bit because it's, it's, it's really pruning a lot of good information. So let me zoom in. So you can see here, this is the title of the business. Um, this is, these are the categories, right? So attorney, estate planning, that also the one, you got those from GMB everywhere. You got those from Plepper as well. The average rating, the number of reviews, the review attributes. So what the review attributes are, if you look here at the reviews, it picks out certain keywords that Google thinks is an, are important. So, you know, a lot of times there's, there's multiple. And this one only has one. So the, when you're doing your keyword research and you're looking for keywords to put in your Google My Business profile on your web page. Now, when I do local SEO, whatever category, I'm sorry, services, um, products and all that stuff in my GMB, I mirror that on my website. Um, so and also you want to keep these attributes in mind. So there's a lot more detail on that. It's kind of beyond the scope of what I'm go going through here. But look at these keywords. See what Google thinks is important and incorporate that to all of your platforms. Right. And this is the description of their business. This is the post count. So they have six posts. How many posts they've done in the last 90 days. So you can copy it. So you can post it, copy it into an email or something. You can download it as a CSV file. So a comma separated uh, file. And that allows you to open it in Excel or 
um, or um, Google Sheets or whatever, then you can clear the data, right? So that's how you do it for one. Now, if you want to get it for the top 20 results, so do the lawyer near me, do maps, let's let it load, and this grab top. So this is going to take a bit longer um, because it's looking at the top 20 results. So I'm going to start it, and this one takes a little bit longer. If you if you watched, you would see, I'll keep it on until you see the the crushing at the bottom right. See, it says we are crushing. Please wait. So again, don't touch anything. Let it go because this is doing this is doing scraping. Actually, I don't know why that didn't. That was pretty quick. <laughs> That's surprising. The one I did previously took a lot longer. So let's go through these. So these are the top three results, and that you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the top twenty. Same kind of information: title, category. So this is the main category. <laughs> Rating, reviews. So this is really important information. So even though that, why, why is one with one review rating high? Now we don't really know, but it could be their on-page SEO on their website's really good, right? What are the other things they've done in their um, GMB and entry, right? What's their? Um, ex I can't think of the word right now, but where are they appearing in other places on the web? So address, now I don't know why this would be useful, like uh, may maybe it would be, I haven't really thought through, because this is a new tool, I've been using it just for a couple weeks. Phone number, now it doesn't, unless the phone number shows here on these cards, not, it should show up, um, but a lot of times I don't see it, may maybe something they're working on, I don't know, but if you like click on the entry, then you'll see the phone number, but if it doesn't appear before you click on the entries, as I understand it, it's not going to appear there. You can also see, the CID here. Once you go into the entry, you can also see and plepper the CID. So again, a lot of it's duplicate stuff. So you just have to go through them. Do you want to use all three of them, or do you want to focus on one of them? Which one do you want to use? There is some overlap, but a lot of they have their own their own um, strength. And then the average click through rate that is gotten from advanced web ranking. So they have some algorithm to say what's the average click through rate. How, how what out of um, out of every so 45 percent of the people that see this entry click on it you can see how powerful it is to be in the top three in the google three pack up top 45 percent click click through rate 25 percent four percent click through rate, and it goes down the lower you get on the page so you can help see how powerful how important it is to get in the top three results and up here you can see the keyword you can see the location you search from and the date so you can do an edit here for the address information. Now, this is also really useful down here. You can do the CSV. This is where it, it, it makes, it really helps. It doesn't really help for me, for me to export one entry to the CSV, you know, because there's not a lot to do. You kind of just have it and you can copy it or whatever, but you can manipulate that and sort it and send it to a client or whatever you want to do. What I like also is this screenshot because this is what clients like, right? They just like pictures. They don't need to see it in a spreadsheet. Do this. So you go to whatever app you're in, or whatever image app. So if you want to manipulate it or, you know, say, use your, you know, point to this one. Well, you know, I don't, well, you, you get the idea. If you want to point to them or highlight anyone, something like that, you can manipulate it there. So I hope you found this useful. This is a, a this is going to make, this is, this saves a lot of time. When you, because you want to basically do, if Google thinks that a business is important enough or, or um, what's the word, I guess, applicable enough to show in the top three results, what are they doing that you're not doing? Are you not using the right categories? If they're, if they have 20 reviews, perhaps you need to get 25. What's your rating like, right? So all that data is really, really important to have. So that's it. Hopefully you find this useful. Please hit the like at, uh, for the, like the video if you'd like to get a lot more of this kind of stuff. I do a lot of security, uh, WordPress, uh, work performance. I do a lot of performance and then a a SEO audits, all kinds of cool stuff. If there's anything you need me to that you're interested in having done, just let me know. And the more subscriptions and likes I get, it shows me that people value what I'm doing. And I will definitely do more of these videos, the more of those likes and subscriptions I get. So if you have any questions, uh, Leave it below in the comments, and I'm going to put the links to all this stuff in the comments. So appreciate it, and have a good day.